We interrupt this program to bring you the latest news in the world of meteorology. Wither Weather with weatherman Brainerd Lamont, already in progress. Oh, it's raining frogs in Calaveras County, and the folks out there seem to be taking it in their stride. Fine people love them to death. <gasps> oh, have I mentioned Winona Wyatt? It's a double celebration for her out in... Guadalajara, Maine. She is celebrating her 100th birthday and graduating from taxidermy school. She sent me this. A stuffed lobster. You gotta claw your way to the top. <laughs> way to go, Winona. And thanks. Now, back to the weather. Hey, are we having snow here or what? Overnight here at Square One TV, we received an average of seven and a half inches of snow right here on the roof of our building. So kids, get out your sleds and come on over. <laughs> what an icy July. Now, maybe you're wondering how we figure out that snow average. Well, here's the guy that figures it out for us. A real precipitation nut. Love him to death. Our station security guard, Lester Bobrick. Lester? May I see your ID, please? Uh, Lester, you know who I am. Doesn't matter. If you don't have the ID, you can't stay on the premises. Lester, we're on the air. Don't make me use the cuffs. Okay. Okay, Lester. <laughs> there you go. A little slower, please. <laughs> Thank you. Please wear it at all times. And now, Lester, about the snow. Oh, yeah. Well, see, what I did was I went up on the rooftop of the station, yeah. and I took my official security guard yardstick batteries, not included, and I measured the snow in six different places. Now, why six? Well, you may think that the snow falls equally all over the rooftop, but in actuality, it is not the same depth all over the roof because the wind blows it all around. Now, you see, by measuring the depth of snow in six different places, I can find an average depth of snow. Ask me how I do that. How do you do that? Whoa, what an excellent question! Lights, please! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, I love you too! Oh, you sensational video! Now, here's some data that I've collected for my wonderful, fabulous, incredible trip up on the roof! Hit it, guys! Love you! Submitted for your approval. Just a little joke there, folks. Hey, at point A, I measured 11 inches of snow. At point B, 7 inches. On the way to the other side of the roof, I slipped. But hey, no problem. Didn't hurt one bit. <laughs> I got my act together. I got my act together. And I measured 12 inches at point C. And only one inch at point D. Over at the center of the roof, a bunch of guys were having a snowball fight. Piece of cake. Talk my way over to the middle, I measured three inches of snow. Then at the flagpole, my country, tis of the oh, interpretive version, folks. Eleven inches of snow. Lights up. I love you. Please. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, yes, so I, I add up the uh, numbers here. For a uh, total of 45, I divide that by the number of times I measure the depth of the snow, 6. 45 divided by 6 gives us an average depth of 0.75 inches. No, that, that can't be right. Huh? That's only 3 fourths of an inch. All your readings were more than 1 inch, so how can your average be less than 1 inch? Uh, oh, yes, yes, you're absolutely right. I read it incorrectly. It's 7.5 inches. That sounds more likely. The average depth is seven and a half inches. That's correct, and that average tells you how deep the snow would be if it was spread out evenly all across the roof. Huh. There, you see? That's seven and one half inches. Oh, that's fascinating. Yes. Oh, we just received this note from the station manager. Oh. While you were up on the roof, someone stole all the typewriters from the newsroom. Oh, dear. Well, I'd better get on that case yes. right away. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. Yes, well, thank you, Lester. Yes, and uh, don't forget to uh, sign out. It's, it's, uh, sign out. Goodbye. Well, that's what's happening in the world of weather. Have a great day. Whoever you are.